Uh, and, and you know that kind of actually uh this wasn't on my list of stuff but you uh you mentioned something about about people looking the part and uh this is always like a hot a hot button subject with people who are in the business so to speak uh-huh. uh, and i feel like a, a huge chunk of the time uh the people that get the most upset about this are the pe- are the people who don't uh, have the right to be the most upset about it uh, <laughs> yeah like for instance uh i don't know if are you familiar with uh nick cutler yeah, but yeah. I know Nick very well. Yeah, yeah, we we kind of had a, a probably a maybe a year, maybe two years ago, we kind of had a little Facebook spat uh, because he said some he said something about uh, Dean Ambrose wearing a, a a shirt and jeans or whatever. Uh, to which I replied, basically, I mean, who who are you to question Vince as to whether or not it's appropriate for for the WWE? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Which which turned into this whole huge conversation about. Um, you know, there there are people who are very strict in the in the mindset of a wrestler has to have trunks and he has to have this and he has to have that. Um, and then there are people people like me who who are more in the vein of if it makes sense with what they're doing, then then it's a, it's appropriate gear. Um, like for instance, it, it made sense for the Shield to come out in uh, tactical gear and stuff like that because it fit their gimmick. It makes sense for for uh, Dean Ambrose to wear jeans and a and a tank top to me because he's not necessarily presented as a, as a hold for hold wrestler. Now it, it wouldn't make sense for Kurt angle to come out and wrestle in jeans and a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I uh, see what you're saying. And, and, and my thing, my thing was like, like for me, for instance, I wrestled 90% of my wrestling career. I wrestled in uh if that's what you want to call it, I wrestled in gym shorts and, and a shirt. Um, right. But, but then again, I wasn't a wrestler. Like my, mm-hmm. my gimmick was not to wrestle anybody. Like I, I mean, you know, uh, Necro Butcher explained it to me. Uh, his thing was nobody here paid to see you wrestle anybody. So, right. So it, that, uh, it's exactly it, man. And Necro is one of the smartest dudes I've ever come across when it comes to both wrestling and just life in general. Uh, one of the smartest dudes I've ever encountered. You can never, you can never be let down by sitting down and having a conversation with the Necro Butcher. You're always going to come away learning something that you probably didn't know. Where do you fall on the gear debate? Uh, I probably fall a little bit on the other side than you, especially when it comes to Dean Ambrose. Like I, I, I think he desperately needs to put on wrestling gear. I think he needs that first. Gear. I think this character that he's currently in with the t-shirt and jeans, it's it's played out. They lost, they lost the steam that he had. And last night, if you haven't watched the pay per view, did you watch the pay per view last night? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, last night was great evidence that the steam is gone. That match was garbage. It, it was not good. They did not have good chemistry. Um, it did appear that Dean forgot a couple of spots, and uh, and Jericho was getting mad at him in the, at, at some points in the match. Although I'll be honest with you, I mi- I missed a long stretch of that match because I was taking a shit. Uh, but that was the time to do it. Yeah, that was the because you could feel that there was no chemistry between those guys. And by the time I was done taking shit, I came back and they were still wrestling. I couldn't believe it. Um, but Dean Ambrose desperately needs to revamp. Uh, over on on We Got Heat, we've had conversations about this where Vito brought up a great point. I guess this was somebody on MLW Radio said this, and I think it's brilliant. Dean Ambrose for a, a while there was teetering on the edge of being Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or being Spike Dudley. And the difference being they're both brawlers, but one's taken seriously and one's the lovable guy that just couldn't win the big one. Sure. And Dean Ambrose, I think now, the, the moment the, it's shifted and he has, he's now more Spike Dudley than he is Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the crowd doesn't believe in him the same way they used to. I think he needs to, I, I thought he needed to come out at WrestleMania with gear on. He looks he looks great in gear. He, there's no reason for him to wear jeans and a T-shirt. Uh, it, it makes more sense for Bray Wyatt to wear jeans and a T-shirt or, sure. or, or the, the, those guys. He can be a professional wrestler. And I think, yes, while he's Roddy Piper-esque, where it's, he's more of a brawler, even Roddy Piper wore trunks. And he, he, oh, he was sure. a brawler. So, uh, but I think there's, there's two parts to that. The second part of that is – you're right in that there are guys where it makes sense. Necro Butcher. Necro Butcher should never have worn wrestling gear. It would look stupid sure. for him to wear wrestling gear. Could you imagine him out there in trunks and, and boots and knee pads? It would look retarded. Like, Absolutely. You'd look at him and go, what is this guy doing in the ring? But 
with him with the cutoff shorts and, and just being who he is and the bare feet and him coming out, you watch this wild man come out and you're like, you believed in Necro Butch. You believed that he was this wild man that, that just couldn't be controlled and people bought it and he made money for people. I mean, man, I was there live. Him versus Joe at the, at the ECW arena is one of those matches that still to this day, you could pop that DVD in and you will be entertained by that match. It shifted indie wrestling. It shifted a lot of things for deathmatch guys. Sure. Um, you know, I, I think, I, I think a lot of the guys that came up after, after that match are got opportunities in matches. They wouldn't normally have gotten opportunities in had Necro butcher not shined in that moment. If he didn't hold his own against Necro Butch, against Joe, uh, in that match and, and, and pushed out and didn't come back with the same fire that Joe came at him with deathmatch guys like Toby Klein and, and, and brain damage and even Drake younger and yourself wouldn't have gotten opportunities against guys that are wrestlers uh, because that there was a time when that was making money for Ian, at least the sure. idea of a wrestler versus a non wrestler that that there was a, a year or two stretch where, it was hot. It was hot. You know, you had Brian Danielson against Toby Klein. Like, who, whoever would have believed you'd see that? 